So, we will start with the basic learning of basics of cardiology and we have four or five topics in basics of cardiology. The first one is going to learn about the anatomy physiology of heart. It is going to be applied, applied anatomy and physiology of heart because pure anatomy and physiology of heart may not be useful to us. So, we are going to see what are the anatomical details as well as the physiological details which are going to be helpful in our day to day practice. So, with this I just start my cardiology course with this slide because heart is so important. Life begins because the heart starts beating. The heart starts beating at 21 days of life and we declare death only when the heart stops beating and all the other the heart for the functioning. Patient may live in spite of other organs not working. Nobody can live without heart working. Heart works non-stop without break even if it is injured. For example, the heart has undergone a myocardial infarction or there is a cardiac surgery on the heart, still the heart has to work. That is why the cardiology is special. The cardiology is the one you are going to learn from this course. So, if you see the human heart starts beating at 21 days after conception. So, it is not as if the heart starts beating at birth. It is going to beat around 21 days after conception and it beats more than 3 point billion times in average time without even a second break. And we must know something basic about the embryology of the heart. So, basically the two endocardial tubes fuse to form a single tube which is called primitive heart. Heart tube undergoes the bulges and also constrictions and it forms uh, the bulges and constrictions and primitively the lower part is the atrium, the upper part is ventricles. Then the heart inverts itself upside down so that the atrium goes up and the ventricle comes down. In the ventricles what happens is the ventricular tube, the undivided ventricular tubes rotates to the right pivots to the right and rotates to the left. It pivots to the right and rotates to the left so that the left ventricle comes on the left side and the right ventricle comes on the right side. So, in this way the primitive tubes are formed and bulges constrictions happen. Atrium develops inferiorly and then goes up and the heart tube pivots to the right and right side, left ventricle is on the left side. So, this is how then of course, the septae were formed are formed. So, dividing the atrium into two atrium and dividing the ventricle into two ventricles.